Okay. Um, so uh, welcome everyone. Um, this is our uh, second uh, webinar uh, this calendar year. And uh, this is my great pleasure to introduce to you uh, Sabine Mondi. I don't think she needs actually an introduction. She has been a pillar of our community for many decades by now. Um, and uh, Sabine currently is in uh, Sinvesta, Mexico City, uh, but she has many other uh, positions in many journals as editor, as well as in the technical committee, uh, the Linear Systems Technical Committee when we are embedded at. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure almost all of you know her in person. Uh, and today she's going to talk about uh, stability tests based on the delay Lyapunov matrix. So Zabine, the floor is yours and uh, take it away. Uh oh, do you see me? Do you see me? Am I moving? Uh, I don't see Zabine moving. I don't see the slides. So just in, in a very small window. Oh. And and you hear me, Wim? I hear you well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It sounds okay, like a sardine okay. was frozen somewhere in the internet. Okay, we can wait a little and hopefully she's gonna come back soon. Yeah, I can see now the slides disappeared, so she probably has to reboot a little. Uh, Sabine is back, I think. Here? Yes, yeah. yes. We lost you for a while. I'm not sure whether you heard the intro. Uh, okay, well, it doesn't matter. Uh, now it's a little funny looking. I mean, I don't see the whole slide, just the top of it. Just give me a moment. Sure. I don't know what happened. Um, now you see the slide? Yep. Yes. And now we see it on full screen. So, okay. uh, all right. Perfect. So, so I can start. Yes, okay. Please, well, thank you for the introduction. Well, I, I know the bio, so it's okay <laughs> if I missed it. <laughs> okay. The, so I, I will talk today about the stability test based on the delay Lyapunov matrix. Um, the, in this talk, well, uh, the organization, I will try to, I will motivate uh, the study of this topic. And uh, by uh, starting with the, the daily phrase system. And then I will prove necessary stability conditions for um, time delay system. All the talk is going to be, or most of the talk is going to be for uh, the single delay case. Then I will I will give uh, and prove a finite uh, stability criterion. These two sections will be a bit technical because I will try to give um, a, a sketch of the proof. Well, I will give the main results and, and try to explain how the machinery works to make these proofs. Uh, in the next section, I will talk about uh, the advances we have on these topics not only uh, for uh, the single delay system, but for other classes of delays. Each classes of delays we know has its own difficulties. Uh, finally, well, because I, I didn't want to make the talk just only like a theory, well, not, not only too technical, I will talk, I will talk about uh, the use of the delay matrix, the upon of matrix in control design, which is a topic that we have been uh, working on in the past year and years, and we think it's interesting. And I will conclude with topics and interest and ongoing uh, research by uh, myself and colleagues um, or other groups of research. Okay, 
I will, I will make, a, let's say, short remember of a very basic uh, result. Uh, it's, about, it's about the Lyapunov stability theorem and Lyapunov stability theorem for delays for the linear systems, invariant system, linear time invariant systems. And we know that uh, a linear system, uh, the simplest, well, x dot equal to ax, is stable if only if there is a function, uh, a Lyapunov function, that satisfies a positivity condition for the function and a negative, um, a negative condition for the, for the derivative, this along the trajectory of, of the system. And the theory tells us that when the Lyapunov condition, well, the Lyapunov condition means that the characteristic equation of the system has no roots which are symmetric with respect to zero. For example, roots on the imaginary axis are this kind of roots, huh? or roots uh, which have uh, on are symmetric, uh, pair of roots uh, which are symmetric uh, with respect uh, to, to zero are um, that make, we cannot use, uh, well, this uh, the, we cannot solve the, the Lyapunov equation. Okay, and we saw, so what do we do? Um, and then to check its positivity. Uh, the, the proof, well, the proof of this result is um, very is the path somehow we will follow for the delay case. So that's, that's why I, I think it's important. And we arrive to the Lyapunov stability criterion, which is uh, that, uh, well, the matrix P here that we, when we solve the, the Lyapunov equation, we found the matrix P, okay? And we check its positivity. We have a, a stability test. We check um, its positivity, use the Sylvester criteria and say, well, the system, so I conclude that the system is exponentially stable. And this result is, uh, it, it, there is also the converse result, okay? It's necessary and sufficient conditions in the linear case, okay? What about uh, delay systems? Well, a lot have been done in uh, delay systems, of linear delay systems. Um, so I have, a, and, and as I mentioned before, I will consider the single delay case in this talk. Um, and we know that the functional with a prescribed deri a quadratic negative prescribed derivative. Well, I didn't put W should be positive definite here. Okay, I um, along the trajectories of this system has this form. Okay. Well, from the from the early uh, result of uh, Krasovsky, of uh, Datko, of um, of Repin, this general form was. Uh, already um, was was known with uh, kernels of a very general form but and well there is also an additional an addition, there is an additional term here includes include here. but this is the the one the with this prescribed derivative in the general form there is an, an additional term of the form uh, minus integral of minus h to zero phi transpose of theta, some kernel, phi of theta, d theta, okay? Um, and uh, there were uh, different works by, uh, well, by Datko, Repin, uh, Wang, Infante, and Castellan that, uh, let's say, showed the, the presence of the, of the so-called uh, Lyapunov matrix. There were, uh, each of them made uh, some progresses. But well, finally, uh, I think that uh, now the theory has been well round up and everything is clear and uh, let's say uh, very uh, easy to, well, uh, um, reader friendly uh, in the monography by Vladimir Karitonov. No? Okay, here you, this matrix U here, it plays the same role as the Lyapunov matrix. In, the, in fact, 
if you consider if you uh, take h equal to zero well you can see that uh, the that the, the the functional reduces to the lyapunov um, function of the delay free case and u of zero plays the raise p okay corresponds to u, u of zero is now the the, the lyapunov uh, matrix right there are, there were more um, there have been more work there is a um, it, there, it's possible to prove that the matrix function when the 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 the, Lyap, the, the, the Lyapunov um, matrix I will I will omit or indistinctly use a delay Lyapunov matrix or Lyapunov matrix we are now in the context of delay we understand I will be talking about the the delay Lyapunov matrix okay okay so this uh, this matrix is the unique continuous solution of three properties or equalities um, when the the Lyapunov condition holds. These uh, properties are called the dynamic property, the symmetry property, and the algebraic property. This system of equation, some not always. Um, can be solved in the single delay system. The construction reduces to the solution of a two n square. N is the dimension of the system, uh, delay-free system with boundaries, uh, boundary condition of mixed type, which are the the last equation, the algebraic equation. And we can see that. Uh, for example, if all delays, or if you uh, put a1 equal to zero, well, the Lyapunov, you can see the Lyapunov equation, the, the, the algebraic equation collapses into the Lyapunov equation. Okay, so everything works fine. For um, when there are multiple delays commensurate, the construction reduced to n square m, m is the number of delays commensurate. When the delays are not commensurate, we will have to, to resort to approximations of the Lyapunov matrix. Okay, well, in the monography of Karitonov, there are, uh, well, which was the, the main contribution of uh, Karitonov, be, be, be beyond uh, clearing out everything and extending uh, to other classes of system, of course. <laughs> is that uh, the, the functional for exponentially stable system here also I will use indistinctly uh, indistinctively uh, exponential stable or stable we are in linear systems it's time invariant so uh, well it's the same okay um, so uh, it was proved by Kantonov that uh, by completing with an appropriate term this functional the functional v0 the, the, um, if the system is stable, the functional admits a quadratic lower bound. Uh, other results were possible. Well, some robust, robustness results with respect to delay and so on were given when the nominal system is exponentially stable. Also, exponential estimates of the response were given for stable systems. So I, we, I have two, there are two questions that appear naturally. One thing is that, is there an analog to the stability criterion P positive definite that we have in linear systems, in the linear delay free systems? No, that's, that's the main question we, we will address today. And the second question that will be, let's say the second part of my talk, is that how can we use the delay Lyapunov matrix in control design? Because we know that the matrix uh, P for the delay free case, well, is related to the Riccati equation, for example, for an optimal control. There are many applications of uh, the, the matrix P is very useful in control design, okay? So I will start with the necessary condition. Well, the necessary stability condition we obtain in terms of the delay Lyapunov matrix. The delay Lyapunov matrix is not, um, 
is not constant. It's a matrix function. So how do you check positivity? No, it's not a straightforward. Uh, well, it, we have no answer to that. We cannot apply. We don't have something like the like the Sylvester criteria. But well, what we will see today is that uh, well, we have something. We have a, a condition, a positivity condition, which is of this kind. Okay, it's a symmetric matrix uh, with where we are able that only only depends on the Lyapunov uh, matrix. Um, to to arrive to these results, uh, well, it was not a straightforward path. It was a trial and error, you can imagine. But let's say that was the, the, the good result, no? because first we had some results where well, some mix of the, the, the matrix equation. First, I, well, I started the first, the first condition I got was U of zero, well, was possible is U of zero positive definite. No, it was, uh, this, uh, this is a positivity condition. But after some uh, trials and then exponentials and things like that well th this was the this is the the, the necessity uh, condition for stability of the delay free and here taus are um, delays on the interval between zero and the uh, and the delay okay i consider that uh, this uh, condition is elegant okay and it's in terms of the Lyapunov matrix of the system. And uh, for the test, let's say we have an analogy to the delay free case. We can construct this, this delay Lyapunov matrix and we can test it's the positivity of this array. Okay. And um, well, the, this result was uh, obtained with uh, Alexei Gorov, by the way. Okay, the stability, um, the stability theorem. How does um, how do we we prove this result? So we consider a functional which is not uh, the the complete type uh, functional of of, uh, of Karitonov introduced by Karitonov, but it's a functional which is closely related. Right? It's very close, and it also has this property is that it's if that the system is exponentially stable then this functional v1 um, it also admits a quadratic lower bound and just we can compute this beta okay and this result is true for piecewise continuous functions phi Well, and the norm is the norm on the, the classical norm for the for delay system, the, the, the soup on the of the Euclidean norm of the state on the on the delay interval. Okay. Well, to uh, to obtain the result, we had to prove some new um, some new some new properties. For one of them, it is the generalized algebraic property, which reduces to the algebraic property um, when tau is zero. The Cauchy formula, which is a generalization of the Cauchy formula, the solution formula, to, for the for u instead of x of t. And here I mentioned that the k that appears here. Uh, is the fundamental matrix of the system. You can see in the last uh, row that when there is no delay, take a1 equal to zero, then the then the we have what we have here is the is the fundamental matrix for the delay free system, which is equal to exponential a0 t. And so this is uh, what what this property allows is to connect the u matrix the, the delay the, the Lyapunov matrix and the fundamental matrix of the system and you will see why we need this connection okay the special initial functions that turn out to be the good one is uh, an initial function that depends 
on the on Lyapunov uh, on the fundamental matrix. Okay, so it it will reveal this array of only of only Lyapunov matrix we obtain in the necessary conditions. Okay, we can see that if we substitute this, um, these initial functions in this bilinear, bilinear system, uh, functional, this bilinear functional, in fact, what it does is it, it, when we have the same argument, it reduces to, the, to our V1 functional for which we have the necessary stability condition theorem in terms of the functional. And so if we substitute that, we have a mix. We have a mix of uh, products, convolutions of the Lyapunov matrix with the fundamental matrix. And we have to simplify that. We have to simplify that. And um, well, precisely when we use the, all these new properties, well, we find that if we substitute this, um, these initial functions, that's what we obtain. Okay, so this all this array collapses to something very simple. Okay. Now, piecing all the proofs together or summarizing the proof, we evaluate the functional V1 at this uh, at a sum of um, of fundamental matrix terms which gives you like some uh, some pieces it's not continuous some pieces of um, of fundamental matrices we substitute this in the in in the functional v1 and well by a simple calculation we obtain that this reduces to the array i presented at the k r is the array I presented at the beginning, okay, it's defined as that, okay, Cal um, calligraphic, okay, okay, and R is the number of uh, points at which I take in this, uh, um, in this initial function. Okay, now if we uh, remember or the stability necessary condition, I introduced if we are by theorem two by the stability theorem. I know this admits a quadratic uh, a quadratic lower bound, okay, of this form, and here, well, the results follow from the fact the properties of this. Um, of this uh, initial function, it's, it's not identically zero, okay? So we can conclude that, uh, well, this reduces to the array uh, I have presented at the beginning, okay? Well, and I will give a, an example, which is taken from some work of, uh, I think from uh, Mendes Barrios and Niculescu and yes, on uh, well, simple. Uh, I, I I won't present many many examples, but in our papers there are plenty of, of examples to 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 be found. Okay, it's a uh, well uh, a controller with a proportional and delayed terms, which is topic dear to me. Uh, and um, we substitute this in a force order system, and we get those two metrics. And then we are going to apply the necessary conditions. And if I take the number, I take R in care equal to one, which reduces to, to the condition shown here downstairs, it's just the U evaluated as at zero is positive. Uh, here we have we have painted in blue uh, the points that violate the, this condition. Okay. So, well, I can ensure that the points, well, the, these are points, it's not, a, let's say it's not a full region, okay? It's a, we should keep in mind, but it, the, the flights could bet, look better than with the black, uh, everything in black or with dots. So we painted the areas, but we have, 
this correspond to evenly spaced uh, points, okay? Uh, so we have excluded already uh, very many, uh, many points in the space of parameter KD, KP, which is the one I, um, I present here. Then I will increase air in the next slide. And with air equal to two, so now I have an array of U matrix. Each U matrix would be four by four in this case. Um, and I will, uh, I will exclude, exclude more points, okay? The, the light blue ones. When I take air equal to three, it goes on. And when I take air to four, well, I arrive to the stability region of this system. Here, the lines in black, okay, correspond to the instability, instability boundaries uh, of the departition method by Neymar. Hmm? Okay, so, well, we know, okay, it looks like, well, maybe there are some points in this Space, we are go beyond 300 or 600. Maybe there are some areas where there is a, where, where, where the system is, is unstable. I don't know. But for the moment, I, I can ensure that this could be a stability region. And well, I could uh, use some practical approach and just check a point in this area, right? And if I check a point in this area, well, I know by the departition method that the whole area, this whole region here is stable, no? But well, that's that's practical. I mean, and it's, it's fair sometimes to do that. But there is a question. Can, how can we, how, how far should I go with air to be sure that the system is really stable. And that's the next, um, the next uh, part of, of my talk, okay? Okay, the result is as follows. It's, uh, I think these results will probably improve. The previous one, I think it arrived at uh, full completion except we, well, Alexey Gorov is working on simplifications of the, of the proof. Okay, the, what, what about uh, guaranteeing stability? So what the result to which we have arrived is this one. Okay, the system, system one is exponentially stable if and only if the Lyapunov matrix condition and the following holds. Okay, the same matrix, is positive definite, but here we have, we give an air, okay, we give the, the number of points we, we test, and these are evenly spaces on the interval 0h, okay, and the formula for the air is given here, everything can be calculated, this is the ceiling function, and all the variables, uh, all the, the parameters which are involved here are, uh, I will talk to, about them later. Uh, M is the Lipschitz, con Lipschitz constant of the system. L is a bond for the fundamental matrix, the derivative of the fundamental matrix and so on. Probably this can be improved, okay? Mm. But at the moment, we have a value. We can give a value, okay? That's... And this work has been, uh, well, this part has been uh, done with um, Alexey Gorov, Marco Antonio, and uh, other students in Mexico. I will uh, give a list at, at the end of the talk. Okay, to achieve this result, uh, there, was, there were some crucial uh, results in the work of um, Irina Alexandrova and Alexei Zapko, who gave conditions on, um, on a special, on a compact set, the compact set S, where on, of, of initial functions. 
Okay, they get stability. They started working on stability theorems for uh, functionals, which are of norm less than one and have, uh, yeah, uh, and uh, well, smaller than one turn on the on the interval. Okay, and the derivative also their derivative also is bounded, and is bounded by the Lipschitz, con the Lipschitz uh, constant of the system. <clears throat> Another result that turns out to be crucial is the approximation error of the, uh, between the, an arbitrary uh, continuous function uh, in, the, in the set S and the, and the condition we, we use to achieve the necessary uh, stability condition. Okay, uh, I, re I remind that this this uh, psi r depends on the Lyapunov matrix on the fundamental matrices of the system. Okay, this um, this approximation result says that the norm of the approximation error is smaller than um, some um, e r. For um, for any e r, I can find um, for for any epsilon, I can find um, an approximation. Uh, for any r, I can find an approximation error. Okay, and I can I can compute it. I can compute the error of approximation. Excuse me for a given r. Okay. We also have a, an, an, um, an instability condition. If the system is unstable and the Lyapunov condition holds, then there exists a functional, um, an initial condition in the set S such that when evaluated at this initial function, the, the functional is negative. And we can compute this. Um, we can compute this value. Okay, this is important that we can compute all the constants thanks to the set S and thanks to the approximation results. Uh, we will also use the bond, the upper bond on the functional, which was uh, introduced in Karitonov book in uh, well, very similar to Karitonov book in. Uh, Okay, now to I'm going to piece everything together. The, so the proof, we, to prove the necessity, we prove uh, first we have to prove the generalized property without stability assumption because we want necessary and sufficient. So we have to prove them again, and it's a bit more complicated. And then if we choose in our necessary condition a particular set. Of uh, tau, well, we obtain the, the result. Okay, we obtain that V one C and the, the the U matrix error I showed before. For sufficiency, we assume by contradiction that the Lyapunov condition holds and that the system is unstable. Okay, according to just the, the, the theorem I just presented, so there exists a phi in S such that the functional evaluated at, at this phi is negative. Okay, and, and I can compute this alpha one and alpha one is strictly negative. Uh, alpha one is a positive constant. But the contradiction is I, I assume that this is true, but so this is the phi, the initial function phi, but I assume that V1 of uh, psi r, so the, the condition that I have for the necessary condition, the, the functional I have for the necessary condition is positive. So that I, I want to, to show that it, this is not possible. Okay, that's how I will prove that the approximation error is phi minus psi r. 
So in this case, I find, I, we remember that um, so V1 is, let's say, the, is the bilinear functional when we have the same argument on both sides. So at the bilinearity properties, we get that the, this Z functional is equal to V1 of phi minus 2Z of phi here plus V1 of the error approximation. Okay. Uh, well, by the instability of phi, okay, which is assumed, I know um, I know that uh, the first term here, V1 of phi, is smaller than alpha 1, by, by than minus alpha 1. Second, and here we can see the importance of the set S, is here phi is smaller to 1 than 1, okay? Here plus alpha 2 and norm squared of the error. And I know from my approximation result that if R is large enough, well, this, the, 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 the negative constant will dominate those terms, okay? And I can compute this R. Well, in fact, well, the R hat we get in the theorem, the fairly complicated formula, well, comes, let's say, from solving that, okay, to, to find for which air this is going to be uh, negative. And then, well, I find that V1 C of air is negative. And this is a contradiction. Okay, so I can conclude that for this air, V1 of if the system, in, if the functional evaluated in phi is positive, so will be the functional evaluated at psi air. Okay, so the so the conditions are proved. Okay, so the so we have so we find that uh, the this array we have for if air is large enough and air is finite, we can compute it. It will give me um, necessary and, su and sufficient stability condition conditions. <clears throat> well, here is a little example. Again, I, I carried, first I try to increase air, as we can see, I increase air and I exclude instability region. And we arrive with R equal to four. After that, there is no progresses. We arrive and we arrive, and we can we know that this is the stability region. Now, to conclude that we can, we 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 are sure this is the, the to prove that the point in this region is stable. Well, we have to test the condition up to R hat. Now. The number air, don't be scared. <laughs> the number air, we can see uh, that it can be very big, even in the areas where the delay is small and the, the here order should say air hat, okay? It's quite big. But, well, we have, the only thing we have is to compute uh, the, um, the Lyapunov matrix to achieve this test and then evaluate it. And for the single delay case, this is not, this is not a, a problem, okay? But of course, when uh, the dimension increase, things get a bit difficult, no? And here in, in this small region, we have more visible numbers for air. And, um, well, for these, uh, the, the previous conditions, here are some points. And um, there are some improved conditions where we can, well, the number air is substantially reduced, although we have to involve in another matrix which depends on the fundamental matrix. But this fundamental matrix, a uh, bond on the, on the fundamental matrix. But this fundamental matrix, we can compute it by the step-by-step -step method. 
and it, and and we can find bonds no? for it. But indeed, let me go back to this. So we can see that, especially on the boundaries, because on the boundaries, the Lyapunov matrix. Remember, on the boundaries, the Lyapunov condition doesn't hold, and and the Lyapunov matrix explodes to infinity. Okay. So in the in the boundaries, in particular, well, the the values become very big. No? Okay, so some so what are the challenges in this uh, in this line of research? Improve the number hair hats. Of course, we want to we would like to achieve a smaller hair hat. Uh, simplify the proof strategy because all these um, and. Um, Alexey Egorov has uh, some results. He needs some time to, to write them. Um, and there are also some other direction of research that are quite interesting. Well, they lose the elegance of the Lyapunov matrix, in my opinion, but they have other advantages. Okay, these are um, using the same machinery we I have presented, but with not the approximation in terms of the fundamental matrix. Well, naturally the, the fundamental matrix, well, it, it contains all the information of the system. So that's why we are able to obtain such an elegant result. But uh, the, it's not, this approximation is probably not the best, we, uh, the best thing for an approximation. The approximation error is quite big. Okay, so there are works um, by uh, some time ago by Irina in the paper I showed by Irina Alexandrova on piecewise linear approximation. I remember here what is approximated is the initial function. It's not the it's not the kernels of the function I like for like in Gu's work. Okay, it's the it's the initial function. And, and here, the, the results, they only amount to check a positivity condition on the functional. They, we don't care, but the derivative, we know it. The, the derivative is fixed, okay? The, what is important here is the positivity. Uh, a very recent ongoing work by uh, the group of Alexandre Serret, Frédéric Guesbo in Toulouse, and the thesis of Mathieu Bajodet, he will present um, in two weeks, next two weeks. And they use uh, le gendre a polynomial. Of course, this was uh, inspired by their uh, work on hierarchies. No? And well, there are other approximation methods uh, that could be used uh, for the for the um, the initial function. I just want to point out something. And well, in fact. They obtain very good results without the elegance, but very good results because the air, the 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 air star, the air hat they need is much smaller because you get better approximation with piecewise linear with Legendre, but than uh, with uh, the the fundamental matrix. Okay, and well, may other approximation. I think that uh, SOS. Uh, could be used, uh, Chebyshev uh, polynomials, Chebyshev uh, polynomial were used by Michiels for the, but for the Lyapunov, for approximation of the Lyapunov matrix, but it could be used in the, in the initial function. Okay, I just want to point out something, is that in our case, we have to construct the Lyapunov matrix and test the positivity of the matrix, okay? But, in their case, they they use they have to construct the Lyapunov matrix. Then they substitute their the, the initial function approximation, and instead of using the properties we use, well, they have to do a bunch of integrals, and well, they find there are recursive methods that are helpful. But in this uh, recursive method, at each step the errors accumulate. Okay, so. There is a, but the, for the moment, the, they, they reach, uh, they can prove a sufficiency with a, 
using basically the same the same approach with the computation of the error and estimate of the error and so on. Uh, we in a very, very good, um, very fast with a uh, with small error. Well, I do not lose hope. Okay. Well, before I discuss that, I, I do not uh, lose hope that we will sometime sometime to find the the right proof approach to find uh, an air which is much or, or the exact air even because uh, for the uh, the exact air hat for which we can guarantee the guarantee sufficiency because we see the, the air are small for you can see in the examples we, we can take larger examples it never goes very far it's eight with eight air hat equal to with air equal to eight um, i think all the examples we are made that's even for a large system it's net, not uh, it goes it approach it probably linked to the dimension of the system but well there's a lot of to um, research to do there i think okay we have developed obtained basically the same results for linear system with pointwise and uh, distributed delays and for system uh, of neutral types i've written the simplest case for com system with commensurate delays too um, in fact the stability criteria has the same form what changes is the delay is the the Lyapunov matrix of the system and well this doesn't mean the proofs are easy uh, because well each class of system has its own difficulties these own particularities hmm? okay we have also been interested in integral equations and in a difference equation in continuous time integral equation i think there is a renewed interest with the pandemics I i've seen a few paper well some of my concern is that there are not so many applications of, of integral equation there is much work much more work on uh, difference equation but i've seen that um, some paper in biology for modeling epidemics well going back to the ideas of cook no uh, which uh, return to this kind of modeling and so that's interesting um, and in this case, the, the condition we obtain looks a bit different. It has this form, okay? It's a difference. Maybe we do something not as good as we should, and we could obtain, we define maybe the Lyapunov matrix in not the best manner. And um, we might... Uh, we might obtain um, just a, a, a more elegant result as in the previous cases. Hmm? Okay, the, the integral equation, it has been, a the fundamentals have been a set uh, in the work of Karitonov and Daniel Melchor Aguilar, and, but we had also to develop the many results hmm, to be able to, to use the, to, to, to develop our machinery. Hmm? And well, in this case, in both cases, the fundamental matrix is the same. Well, periodic uh, linear delay system, in this case, the Lyapunov matrix is bidimensional. Okay. And uh, this goes, well, the question is, can we, could we speak of other systems? We've got, got other linear system, no? what we need uh, Cauchy formula, stability theorem, a construction method. More, so we could handle more general integral equation, probably stochastic linear delay system, PDEs, but everything has to be developed. No? But you need fundamental matrix, Cauchy formula to, to do all, to do the machinery. Okay, I'm going to speak very fast about that because all these, well, and what do I do with that? How useful are you? I have plenty of tools to check stability. But the, the knowledge of the deep, let's say, machinery, I think, is the deep um, theory is also interesting and it's useful for control design. Okay, for example, I will mention the the uh, the pre the extension to predictor the these results 
were crucial in extending the predictor design aiming at compensating the delay in input delay system to the class of system with both input delay and state delay. Okay, so we know the following this control law um, compensate the, deal, the input delay and we can substitute the Cauchy formula to um, uh, to compensate the delay, no, and uh, and we can construct it. This is not causal. This is perfectly causal. Only depends on past time. And here we can we need to assume that this system, the close, this system is um, is stable. We can use the criteria and combines, the proof of the result combines the Lyapunov delay matrix functional and the, back, uh, the backstepping uh, method uh, introduced by Kirstich. We can make very easy the robust com com stability or straightforward uh, the robust stability analysis. Another problem, well, I'm going to skip this one because I see I'm running out of, out of time, sorry. It's about the optimal control. Another is the optimization of the H2 norm for single delay system. For parametrized system, we know that the H2 norm depends on the delay Lyapunov matrix. Okay, this result was obtained, well, for not for parametrized system, but it's the same by uh, uh, the group of uh, Wim Michiel, Jean Lebring, uh, Van der Beek. Well, one interesting thing is can, we can compute the partial derivative of the matrix U with respect to a, par, uh, a given parameter. We can construct it by a similar procedure of the semi-analytic procedure. And we can also, so we can compute the gradient of the H2 norm and we can use uh, gradient methods, okay? We can apply this strategy to other in performance indexes like the quadratic uh, problem uh, for delay based controllers and the smooth spectral abscissa the smooth spectral abscissa of um, of delay system because the spectral abscissa is not um, is not smooth as shown i think by niculescu and uh, michels and niculescu but the the smooth spectral abscissa, which recover the spectral abscissa when epsilon 10 to 0 is smooth. So we can use um, gradient-based delay methods. Well, I've discussed uh, some possibilities and, well, I think we can use, well, we can extend results of the yapunov krasovsky framework, robustness, every, these kind of things. Some problems um, I believe are of interest are depicted uh, uh, here. And I think I'm running uh, out of time. So, um, well, I think some interesting topics are improving or number air hat. I think there is a lot of room for improvement and uh, develop control strategies. To, I would like to finish my talk by making some uh, acknowledgements uh, to the work of my colleagues. Have you seen, as you have seen um, in the reference, uh, Alexei uh, Egorov has been uh, has been uh, has many contribution in this direction. Uh, Marco Antonio Gomez, who was uh, our former student, also especially in a delay system. The work of Irina Alexandrova uh, has been crucial in, uh, in um, allowing us to advance for the sufficiency condition with Michael, Michael Di Loreto for difference equation and uh, Carlos Cuvas, uh, Reynaldo Ortiz, Alejandro uh, are uh, former or current uh, PhD students in, um, in the design, control design method, method. well, Vladimir Kaitonov with Michael's and uh, Marco Antonio and other students or former students, Omar Santos in optimal control and William Rodriguez, Luis Juarez and Leopoldo and others. 
Uh, well, of, of course, for the fundamental theory, we are indebted to uh, Vladimir Karitonov. I would like to thank you uh, for your attention. Thank you, Sabine, for this uh, uh, really nice talk.